Hey guys, the Lord is about to do it again. Yes, he is. He is about to do it again. Praise God. Come on, praise God with me, saints. Come on. Mm, you are being attacked by your enemies because you are about to receive good news. Somebody is about to receive good news. Hallelujah. Praise God. God about to do that thing. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise God. I tell you, I can't stop praising God. To God be the glory. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. The, the prophetic word is you are being attacked by your enemies because good news is about to come your way. Mm, the enemy trying to make you feel like God is not coming through. But before I get started with this word, guys, I want to have a word of prayer because we want the Holy Spirit to speak because this word. Without, it's, it, without a doubt in my mind, it's for somebody, praise God. Somebody is about to get blessed, but it's not for everybody. I want you to take this word to God in prayer, but this word going to reach whom it needs to reach without, it's without a doubt in my mind. Thank you, Father. Father God, we come into prayer. Lord God, just thanking you, God. Oh God, we thank you because of who you are, Jesus. Oh God, I pray, Father, that if there's anything in me, Father, that will Hinder me from getting your word through. I bind it. I rebuke it. I curse it straight back to the pits of hell in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord God, I pray, God, that this word will reach whom it needs to reach. If I've made any covenant with the enemy, I break that covenant right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Because my covenant is with you, Lord God. Have your way, Holy Spirit. Have your way. I am so excited, guys, about this news. Oh, my God. The Lord has really been working. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. And guys, you know, the, the, the Holy Spirit came to me and he put in my spirit that I needed to, to fast and pray. He gave me the time. And when he gave me that time, I said it in my phone, just like I was going to work to wake me up every morning at that time so I could pray and lay before him. Let me tell you something. If you are faith, you be faithful to God, he'll be most faithful to you. He's faithful to us even when we ain't faithful to him. Thank you, Jesus. This word is, you are being attacked. I got notes here because I ain't want to leave out nothing. I'm excited about this word. You are being attacked by your enemies because good news is coming your way. Mm. Somebody about to wake up to some good news in the mighty name of Jesus. You've been fasting. You've been praying. You've been seeking the Lord. You've been being steadfast. All kind of stones and arrows have been shot at you. But you've been struck down, but not destroyed. Mm, the Lord getting ready to speak to you today. I dream of this woman. Okay, this woman was in my dream. And she was trying to be friendly and get close to me. This woman kept asking if she could do my hair. Okay? And, and, and she appeared to be really anxious about doing my hair. I asked her if she had any pictures of her work. She handed me a picture album of all her hairstyles. And she stood over me as I looked at these hairstyles, okay, like desperate. Like she really wanted to get a hold of my head. I'm speaking to somebody. She stood there watching me look at her picture album. I sat down. I was looking at these pictures and it was something in my spirit that just, just wasn't sitting right. And I heard the, the, the spirit spoke to me and, and he said, don't let her touch your hair. So I told her I would wait to get, I would just wait to get my hair done at a later date. And when I said that, she got angry and snatched the picture album out of my hand. Mm. And, and also all that befriend and her being sweet went out the window. Okay. Next thing I know, like a force snatched me into another room. And I saw that I saw what looked like to be one of my brothers. OK, and when it snatched me in the room, this demon, OK, it was a demon in the form of my brother. OK, and it didn't waste no time. It raised up and it got ready to charge at me. And I could see in the eyes like fire, like bloodshot red. It was just, I could just see the demon and it was charging at me. And I stood there and I, it was nobody else around. And that's why as he got ready to raise his hand up to grab me, he froze. He was still like, you know, moving his head, but he couldn't do nothing. He froze. This, this, this. What looked like an angel appeared behind him, like a light. I could see the body. 
Okay, but like a light. I couldn't see the face was blocking the face. Okay, and all this angel did was lift his hand and he froze. Okay, his hands froze because he went to lift his hand so he could like reach for me. Okay, and he froze. He couldn't do nothing. And the angel just stood there behind him, quiet. Okay, and then I heard this voice spoken in inside of me. Okay, and when I grabbed that demon by the neck and I took that demon down to the ground. Okay, he couldn't do nothing, mind you, because... I had backup. Thank you, Jesus. Throw a thousand. May fall at your side. Ten thousand at your right hand. But it will not come near you. You will only witness the enemy being punished from a distance. I had the enemy by his neck, this demon by his neck. And he was just growling at me. And I could see the rage in his eyes like he wanted to kill and destroy me. But he couldn't do nothing with me. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. And as I held him by his neck, I heard a voice. And I know that it was the Holy Spirit. And he started speaking because I went to yell at it and, and he took over the Holy Spirit and he went to speaking through me. And he, this is what he said. I bind you, Satan. I rebuke you with the blood of Jesus. I bind you, Satan. And I rebuke you with the blood of Jesus. I bind you, Satan. And I rebuke you with the blood of Jesus. He kept saying it. And it was a male voice coming out of me. It was not my voice. OK, and the Lord showed me that was the Holy Spirit speaking through me and that demon couldn't do nothing but just lay there and take it. And I woke up with the Holy Spirit standing. He was binding that demon, demon up in the mighty name of Jesus and it was nothing he could do about it. I'm speaking to somebody. Mm, it's nothing the enemies could do about it. Mm, all kind of stuff being thrown at you. Thank you, Jesus. Hold on. Wait a minute. Make sure I got everything before I get started. Mm. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. God is speaking to you today. I don't know who you are, but the enemy coming for you. Okay? You got all kind of, you got the spirit of divination, all kind of demonic forces. Okay? Coming for you. Witchcraft. Mm, sorcery. Magic. Hex. Okay? Everything being thrown throw at you. But you got that sword, which is, which is the sword, which is the word of God. OK, the Bible says equip yourself with the whole armor of God mm, so that we will be able to withstand the wiles of the devil. Thank you, Jesus. Gird up your lungs. OK, lawn, lawn up your girds with the truth. OK, and then get your breastplate of righteousness. And then while you add it, let your feet be shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. And don't forget your helmet of salvation. OK, and your shield of faith. And get the sword, which is the spirit and the word of God. Thank you, Jesus. So you will be able to fight the wiles of the devil. Okay. Somebody, I don't know who you are, but you are fighting and you winning a battle. Mm. You are winning a battle. Everything the enemy, I see in the spirit and God showed me this. That's being shot at you. And I know this word was for me too. It's being cursed and reversed and it's going back. Mm, and it's going to be worse off what they sent to you. It's going to be worse than, than, than what, what they sent. They finna get back worse. I hear the Holy Spirit saying the Holy Spirit is speaking. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Mm, and I heard when I was saying I heard the Holy Spirit because I was on top of that demon. OK, he wasn't on top of me. I had my knee on his chest and I had him by the neck in that dream. And I heard the Holy Spirit saying. The Holy Spirit is saying, I bind you, Satan. I rebuke you with the blood of Jesus. I bind you, Satan. And I got distracted by something while I was holding his neck. And I went to look over. And the Holy Spirit, I heard the Holy Spirit say, keep your focus. I'm speaking to somebody right now. Keep your focus on what you're doing. Okay, you got to be steadfast. You can't be distracted. And I turned back and I continue to let the Holy Spirit speak to me. I bind you, Satan. I rebuke you with the blood of Jesus. I bind you, Satan. And I rebuke you with the blood of Jesus. And he was saying it. He wasn't screaming. But it was just with so much authority. That demon couldn't do nothing but just lay there. OK, and I woke up with the Holy Spirit doing it. It was a male voice when I opened my mouth that was coming out at this demon. Hear me what I say. OK, the Lord is with somebody. I don't know who you are, mm, but you cover and saturated in the blood of Jesus. And this may be for more than one person. OK, this may be for more than one person. And I know it is. Thank you, Jesus. And let me tell you something. I remained focused, just like the Holy Spirit said, and I woke up binding up that demon. And this is what happened. 
I was obedient to everything the Holy Spirit was telling me to do with fasting and praying and reading scriptures and getting in the word. And let me tell you, mm, I woke up to my good news. Thank you, Jesus. The Lord did it again. When I tell you, he did it again. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. The Lord, I don't know who this is for, but the Lord is about to do it again for you. He about to open up doors. Can't no man shut and shut the ones that's not supposed to be open. I want you to hear me. Lord, let this word reach who it need to reach in the mighty name of Jesus. Somebody's about to get good news. You've been going through. Mm, the enemy been coming for you all in your dreams. But God told me to tell you that the enemy is defeated. The bay can't do that. The enemy, your enemies can't do nothing with you because the power of God lay on the inside of you. They got to get permission. Mm, and then you shaking hell up. And I see I keep seeing this, this male. OK, I keep seeing this male in ministry. Right here on YouTube, I won't release who the name is. So please, I cannot release who the, who the name is. But I keep seeing this mail. And God told me to tell you that the battle has been won. It's some things you praying about. Okay, you've been praying about and seeking God all in the spiritual realm. The enemy been really coming for you. Okay, that's because your breakthrough is getting ready to blow your mind. Mm. And then the enemy trying to instill fear in you. But remember, God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. I'm talking somebody he even he, the enemy even been disturbing your sleep, but you don't even want to sleep at night. The Lord told me to tell you to cut off the lights and go to bed and rest in him. The Lord is speaking to somebody. And when you do that, OK, when you do that, you waking up to something new. The Lord is about to bring you through. You're going to know who this is. It's going to resonate in your spirit because it's coming to pass because God showed it to me. Mm, thank you, Holy Spirit. When I when I woke up this morning, I woke up to some good news. I can't go into details, but let me tell you something. I just want to say this. OK, for those of you who are confused about what God wants you to do about making decisions with moving, whenever it's God will. He going to foot the bill. If he wants you to stay where you are, he going to foot the bill. He going to make a way. And, and some people ask me, how do I get God to, to do what he do? I, I, and the Holy Spirit, I, I tell the Holy Spirit, I say, Lord, I tell him. Lord, I tell him. I don't know what else to do. He say, keep telling him. Keep telling him. And, I, and, I, and, and what I tell you all, and I even made a video, okay, of fasting and praying and being steadfast. Okay, I don't have no magic wand. Jesus is my magic wand. OK, sometimes it takes time. Sometimes I have to wait. OK, and it's things that I'm still waiting on. But I see my father moving mm, and I keep speaking it. What I told you, I said I'm waking up in my greater and I hear the Holy Spirit saying that ain't all. The Lord speaking to somebody. He spoke that before. That ain't all. The Lord is not done. Mm, we ain't seen nothing yet. I'm speaking to somebody. This is going to resonate deep down in your spirit. You better take this word in the mighty name of Jesus when you feel it and run with it. Like I did when I quit, when I quit that word in the spirit, because see, it's up to us to catch it when it come out there. OK, a lot of us say we can't miss what God has for. Yes, we can. We can miss it. OK, if we're not obedient to the voice of God, when God speak to you. And I just want to say this. Because I've seen this too, guys. And I want to say this. You know, sometimes, and I know because I've done this too. So I'm not talking at you. I'm talking to you. Okay? Well, I've gotten angry with God before when I was living out there in the world and frustrated. Okay? Because he didn't move. I got prophesied some things. But I didn't take it and run with it. Okay? I did not take it and run with it. And some things I re I believe, but I didn't receive. Because it was all for my pride and my selfishness. It wasn't even for the glory of God. I want you to hear me. OK, it be delays. Sometimes we be delayed with our blessing, but not deny. OK, it cannot be. I know we need God help and we need him to, to, to move. But I want you all to hear me. Holy Spirit, back me up. Help me to make this clear as possible. Jesus, we cannot just won't think we're going to use God. OK, and, and pray and fast and be faithful. God already know our thoughts. OK, pray and fast and be faithful for a little while and go back to our own ways. God already know what you're going to do. And sometimes he'll bless you anyway, but he already know what you're going to do. You don't want to play with God like that. OK, my heart is solely for the Lord. 
is solely for the Lord. And he already know my needs. And let me tell you how I get a lot of met praying for you all interceding on your behalf. My heart is solely for this and what God is calling me into. I want y'all to hear me. Even when y'all don't hear me responding. Okay. When y'all don't see me responding in the emails, I'm praying and I'm fasting. Okay. I push away from the table and my prayers are first and foremost for you to draw near to God. Mm. And I, I want you to hear me. Okay. Because when you draw near to God, everything else is going to come. Mm, that be my prayer. Lord, help him. Give him the strength to draw near to you. Father, give him a burning thirst that this world cannot fulfill, Father. Fill him up with the Holy Ghost fire. In the mighty name of Jesus, God, set him on fire for your kingdom. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray, guys, right now in the mighty name of Jesus, that this word reach whom it need to reach, okay, and, and, and bless you because it bless me, okay? The Lord is Speaking to somebody, the enemy can't do nothing with you. Your battle has already been won. You, you are undefeated. Remember, because your father is undefeated. In that dream, when that witch and that demon came for me, I had no fear. Even when I didn't even see, okay, the angel come. Because before I go to sleep every night, I ask the Lord to cover me. Send your angels to go with me, Father, into the spiritual realm, God. Cover us and saturate us in your blood, Jesus. So when I was in that dream, even when that demon was rising up of, of me before the angel even came, I had no fear. Because mm, I know the enemy can't touch me without my father permission. Thank you, Jesus. But God sent me help. And let me tell you, I'm speaking to somebody. God is sending, sending you help. Thank you, Jesus. I'm done to God be the glory. It's like I couldn't get this word on here quick enough. Okay, I was going to skip the day and come on up tomorrow. But like I always say, many of the plans in a man's heart, but it is the Lord plans that will prevail over ours. The Lord plans always going to stand over ours. To God be the glory. Remember, always judge a tree by the fruit it bear. And my prayer is, Lord, let my tree bear good fruit, Jesus. Mm, let your light shine through me, Father. Mm, I want you guys to be blessed. I want to give an invitation for those of you that don't have the Lord and you want to get to know this, this God, this Lord, this Jesus that I talk and I speak so highly of. Right now is your chance to get to know him today. If you believe that Jesus died on the cross for your sins, okay, and rose from the dead, you are saved. The next step will be baptism. Mm, come on to Jesus. He's waiting for you. He's been waiting on you for a while. Somebody, I don't know who you are, but the Lord is speaking to you today. The clock is ticking for you. Okay. The Lord has been calling you and you keep putting it off. I'm coming, Lord. Just let me do this. The Lord say, no more putting off. Okay. Come on. Repeat after me. Dear Lord Jesus, I know that I am a sinner and I ask for your forgiveness. I believe you died on the cross for my sins and rose from the dead. I turn from my sins and invite you to come into my life as my Lord and Savior. If you've said this prayer with me, you are saved in the mighty name of Jesus. I just want to say thank you guys for all the donations. I'm praying that God will bless you a hundred folds. Your overall health and wealth. In the mighty name of Jesus, let every do dollar, nickel and dime and penny multiply in your hand in a, a hundred folds. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, bless those that want to give and have not to give. Right now, in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, you know the hearts of your people, God. And, and another thing I wanted to say, guys, welcome to all the new subscribers. I see you guys coming in. I just want you guys to know that you are welcome. You are welcome. You are welcome. You are family now. Thank you. You are no longer a visitor. You are family. Mm. So make sure you guys like. And, and if you're watching a video today, come on and subscribe and join a winning team. We on the undefeated team. Come on, hop on this Jesus bus. In the mighty name of Jesus, come on. You guys be blessed. I love you. And remember that God love you more. Till next time, guys.